ready and you can tell that these little buds are ready because they have their true leaves showing already so these first leaves that come out are the cotyledons and those are just basically like nutrient dense leaves that help the seed sprout and germinate and then these leaves that come out after typically look like the actual plant that you're going to be planting and they're called true leaves so once you have about one or two leaves then it's ready to be potted up into a larger home which i've got right here so this is the bigger pot that we're going to be transplanting our celery into all you want to do is fill it with some soil just make sure it's loose light for your old transplant. We have ours in flats like this so I'm just gonna push up from underneath and take them out. It looks like this one has a few, there's actually three that have germinated in this one so I'm just gonna kind of carefully and gently take the roots apart from these, set that aside. So you can tell this one has some pretty long roots already and it wants a new home. So I'll just kind of use my finger or you can use a pencil or something and just kind of place the roots all in there and then you'll gently pack at the base of those true leaves so it can have a good start to a new home. the pH of the city's water on a Friday and it was about 8 and we just tested the rainwater here which we collect and use to water our plants with when it's available and it's actually 6 which is a much better pH that plants prefer so if you have any resources to collect rainwater or are interested in doing something like that it's much better for your plants because they can actually uptake nutrients with this kind of pH instead. So I'll just kind of put a little shower on them and let it soak in and you want to make sure you continue to water them until they're ready to be planted in the ground, which we'll tell you about a different time. <laughs> 